This is the craziest barn find I think ever. You guys remember my friend Baker, he's the one with the NASCAR. He just bought this property in the middle of nowhere and on this property is a barn. I didn't believe it when he told me what was inside of it. I'm bringing the trailer right now because there is no way that I am leaving without this car and we're in a little bit of a rush because I'm trying to get there before anyone else does because I'm not about to miss this opportunity. Mr. Baker, what is up dude? Hi friend. How's it going? How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm excellent. Why don't you tell and share us a little bit what what is going on what did you find how did it happen I moved out here a couple years ago I've been kind of buying up property and I bought the barn that's next door and I'd never been in there before but I found something pretty cool and you were the first person I wanted to call <laughs> well thank you for that so when you called me with this I did not believe you I asked you to send me a photo by the thumbnail and title of this video you guys probably already know that it is a super bird. Wing car. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I've always wanted to do a Mopar build. I've yet to do one, so this could be perfect. I rushed here as soon as I could get here. I'm glad you did, because there was two or three other people that want it. <laughs> Bad. That's why I brought the trailer. <laughs> I love it. Good point. Hey, wait a minute. I was here first. Where's your trailer? That's the barn right over there, huh? There it is. There she is. I've been looking at it for years. I've never been inside. Who would have thought that you would have been living this close to a Superbird for as long as you have been? It's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, right? It's like my dream car. But... Well, I guess let's go take a look. Can I bring the trailer over there or should we just bring it back here? I think we should probably get like the tractor because it's been in there a bit and there's a lot of stuff piled around it. So when I bought this barn, they had insulated all the walls with pot. With weed? With weed, <laughs> marijuana. Like <laughs> trash, but it was all in there stuffed like hundreds and hundreds of pounds. What'd she do with the weed? I threw it all out. I shot backed it all out. <laughs> This place came up for sale and it's adjacent to my property. It was too cool. I've been looking at it for years, but I've lost the key to the lock, so we're gonna have to cut it right now. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, this almost looks like somebody tried to. You probably just push. Oh, you don't even need to cut it. Somebody's totally been in here. You think I someone's did. here right now? I don't know. That's not good. Yeah, this looks bent. Bro, where are we right now? What is that? So I bought this property about a year ago from an old man. I, I think he was in his 90s, but the old man had some interesting things going on. He's got a Faraday cage going on over there. Wait, that's for like, if there's a nuke. Sensitive electronics. You, like... you, you, you would lock yourself in and you build sensitive electronics in there. So this guy is like a doomsday guy. Yeah, very survivalist. He had a lot of mining equipment. He used to bring in some sort of ore from somewhere. He wouldn't tell anybody where he got it. And he'd bring it in here and sift it and get gold and something along those lines. Then obviously the car and the garage. Okay, That's I have to see one. it. I have to see this. This is like a dream car. You can understand what I thought when I opened the garage and saw that. Come on into my treasure chest. Oh my God. That's wild. That's like what you dream about, right? Yeah, I used to make jokes, like maybe there's something really cool in that barn, like a Daytona or something. I never thought in a million years. It actually- There would actually be a wing car. Look it off like a band I think this is a, a replica car. There's no way it's real. No, no but way. It's cool. This is so cool. I love the color. And the wing! The wing. The whole wing! This is the coolest barn find ever. Thank you for calling me. Of course. The Super Words were a 70, right? They, they started making 1970s. These quarters are in a 70 because the, they had the vents in them, didn't they? Yes. So this is definitely- 69 was the first car to go 200 in NASCAR. So in 69, they built the Daytona from Dodge. Richard Petty drove for Plymouth and he wanted a wing car. He actually got into it so bad with Mopar that he went across the street to Ford. In 69, Petty drove for Ford. They were so upset that he left that in 70 they said, come back, we'll build you a wing car. And that's how the Superbird was actually created. So this is technically a 1970 Superbird. Now, that actual Superbird had like vents in the rear quarter, so this must have been a replica off of a 69, but we can, we can, I'm already talking about mod in this car. We can play some quarters. <laughs> You're a real car person. <laughs> So, did you know that this car was the answer to the 427 camera? 
Yep, and uh, I believe yeah. they made that illegal the next year, no? Yeah, but then they came out with this. Yeah. They, they, they were in works with this when they announced that motor, and they were like, mm -hmm. oh, sh I take it you're buying it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I brought the trailer. I'm not going home without it. It's How real. long do you think it's been sitting here for? I have no idea. I've heard a lot of stories about this barn. I know that some of the local tweakers and stuff have stolen stuff out of the yard, but... It's still here. I don't even know if it was the guy that I got it from the farm or from the, the barn and the old man and whatnot, but it's here. Oh. It's like mostly straight. The this is gonna need a lot are, of yeah. work. Look at the floor, how rusted this is. For a Brand California car, this is pretty bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> All right, do these tires have a year on them? Oh, uh, they're, they're yeah. so cracked. I don't even know if they yeah. hold air anymore. 19, uh, we don't care. They're Just pretty cracked. Work. You might need a couple of patch panels here. <laughs> oh my. I changed my mind. I don't want to sell it. <laughs> you can't do that no, to me. Just, <laughs> well, how much do you want for it? Hmm. Maybe not on camera. Okay. <laughs> Are we getting a Mopar? I, I think I think that's a yes. You know what he's going to say. What? Put a Ford Big in block? it. Big block? Yeah, put a Ford in it. Put a Ford in it. <laughs> <laughs> This is cool Mopar. I don't this like Mopars. Really cool. This is a cool Mopar. This is the coolest. The only engine in there is barbed wire fence. Oh, there's no, look at how high this is sitting. There's no yeah, motor in like, this. We knew and we, we took the carver off. Like, there's no motor in this car. The great part is we could put anything in it we want, like a Ford. Oh, well, there it is. Hemi. There it is. We put a Hellcat yeah, motor in it. Hellcat. <laughs> I feel like that's what all the kids are doing nowadays. Do you guys think we need to replace that windshield? No. no. <laughs> they fixed it. Whoever had it fixed it. Wait, they fixed. actually tried yeah, to yeah, fix they it? it. <laughs> I think that's actually delaminating. Uh, no, it is. The roof is pretty straight. The roof looks good. This corner is shot. Dude, paintless dent removal. It's good. Yeah. Is that open? It's good. Oh, it does now. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. It was definitely something else. Like hey, I bet this alternator is good. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely good. Yeah. Does it spin? <laughs> it sure does. Oh, wow. All right, we're good. We're bargain. So do you do you guys think this is a Roadrunner? I think it was a 69 satellite. Because if it was a Roadrunner, you'd have a little bird here somewhere. And I definitely think it was a satellite, like a base model Roadrunner. And it definitely got a hit in the back pretty good yeah. been bonked should we put some air in the tires and push her out let her see the light of day huh yeah all right look like she's already squinting a little is it coming out the valve stem or is it coming out of the, the hole in the tire i got a tractor well you just pull it we can pull it we tractor. can push it out and then pull it back i mean i think the tires probably can't be reused they might be <laughs> there's like a fucking <laughs> literally giant holes in it so i think it's okay I wouldn't use those. One, two, three. Oh, oh. oh yeah. I hear something clunking. Something's clunking. Is it dark yet? Oh my. Driver. Turn driver. Oh. Oh jeez. Oh my god. This is insane. I do, I, okay, I know there's like 20 different colors here, but I really like the orange. We haven't even finished the Camaro yet and we're already buying a new project. You're a Dodge guy, why aren't you keeping this, seriously? I honestly have 90 cars. I got a lot of projects I'm working on. 90? And yeah, I mean, last I checked. Wait, how do you remember to pay registration on 90 cars? <laughs> <laughs> I guess if this was real, it'd be a different story. If this was real, there's no way I would have even called you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no offense. I, I would hope that. Yeah, it would have just been in there cool, like, I got a real Daytona or Superbird, but because it's it's pretty beat and needs a lot of work, and I've already got so much going on. Well, I will gladly yes, take this off your this hands. this is all you. This is, this is the coolest thing since sliced bread. Is that a bullet hole? That's definitely like a 22 or something. That's not drilled. There wasn't anything on these cars right there. That's definitely a bullet hole. <laughs> There's a bullet hole on the side of the Superbird. Dude, look at the side of the barn. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, actually? God, if that car could talk. There's probably <laughs> the so many stories. stories. Yeah. Have you gone and just looked at all the other barns out here? I feel like there's so much stuff. I, I don't know of any other barns out here. So when no I got, way. Yeah, so when I got this place, it was stuffed full of marijuana as insulation. 
And Wait, actually. Like, I'm not even joking. It was stuffed full of marijuana. They used I, weed as insulation? I probably shot vac 50 shot vac buckets full of pot. This is crazy. I like how they have the lazy Susan of marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea, but there was there was a lot of illegal pot grows out here a couple of years ago. I could I could see that to this day. Look at that. Yeah. Well guys, we're finally doing a Mopar build on the channel. Alright, I'm gonna go get the tractor. Okay. John's got a tractor. But we've got another flat tire. Yeah. Is there a here it's still leaking? Yeah. Did you run over something? Yeah, and something now it won't even start because oh. the battery terminal came off. Fortunately enough, we were able to fill up three of the four tires on the Superbird. I think the rear driver tire is just too rotted, too old, and won't be able to hold any air. So we did get some on the other corners, which should help. All right, let's do this. Ace Ventura. Send her on home. Yeah. I can't, then I can't sandwich it. You don't need to sandwich it. You better start turning. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Sandy, you distracted me. <laughs> My bad. Oh, it's all of us. We're all to blame. <laughs> that was not my fault. You suck as a driver. What do you mean? I was good. I was ready to go. And the city was telling me to put both feet in. I was like, why? And yeah. you know, Baker's pulling it. If you put both feet in, you could straddle yourself oh. inside the car and turn the wheel. I thought you said, go, Bo, go. <laughs> oh, yeah. You said, no, Bo, no. <laughs> you see how we can get that confused? <laughs> Riding off into the sunset. stores they have the take a penny leave a penny yeah well, uh oh i'm gonna take a car and leave a car <laughs> okay. a toyota prius with a k24 turbo and a manual transmission let's do it if it's yours i know it's good because you wouldn't just bring a prius out here and leave it at my house <laughs> that is definitely no regular prius whoa look at the fuel cell on this thing <laughs> Okay, this is cool. You can leave it here. I like it. It's really cool. This is going to complement my Turbo LS84 Camry that I have very this well. This may be the only manual Prius you ever see. It's guaranteed to be the only Prius that's ever caught my attention. <laughs> this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Can I have to send more? a picture of this to Josh Maserol. He built the Camry I have. <laughs> He's fun. really, really going to get a kick out of this. <laughs> Well, the Superbird is loaded into the trailer, coming home with us. I know you didn't feel comfortable talking about price on the Superbird on camera, but I just want to say thank you. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. I'm happy it went to you. I think the best move, because I have so many cars at the shop and I have nowhere to park this, is to take it to our friends over at Huntington Beach Jeep. I've already made a couple phone calls. They are able to take the Superbird right now in order to start on the floor is next week. So I think I'm gonna drop them off have them replace the floors, maybe the quarters while we're at it and just start getting this build moving. So let's get out of here. I didn't realize how dirty and dusty the car was. Until you got here. Until I got here and I realized <laughs> it's about covered. That. The trail is gonna need to be cleaned. My black shoes are no longer black. There's so many dead things in this dash, it's unbelievable. <laughs> oh. It's just in there. It's just sitting on top? Whoa, crunch. Keep going. Go oh, stop it now. <laughs> oh, hey, look. It's so there's... dusty. Wait, I didn't know they go. their hoods go this way. That's I cool. I don't think they do. <laughs> I think it's installed right. Definitely not installed right. Well, that's enough dirt for me for one day, but oh my God, what an incredible find. This is one of those cars that I just want to sit in my little chair and drink a beer and stare at all night. <laughs> I guess now the question begs, what am I going to do with this? It was a very long drive in traffic, so I had some thoughts. But comment below, let me know what you guys would like to see with this build. 
what motor you'd like to see. I want to hear your thoughts. Shout out to you, Baker, for being a real one and me being the first phone call when you found this car for me to come, hopefully, return to life. So thank you guys, you crew. We out here with love. Bye. <laughs>